Welcome to The Music Reel. I'm your host, Nicola Burton. I've got two pushy boys here with me, Manny and Michael. And today our very Hello. special guest is Glenn Young from PBR. Now, that's the professional bull riders in Australia. Now, PBR are a great supporter of live music. They provide a lot of employment for live music artists at their various events that happen around Australia throughout the year. Now, Glenn, welcome to The Music Reel. And I guess you, like so many other operators, had to scramble and postpone and reschedule your events as the crazy hit in March. How was that for you? Uh, yeah, well, first, thanks for having me. Um, look, I think it was crazy for everyone. I think it was sort of, uh, you know, a little bit of mayhem for the first couple of weeks. Uh, we sort of expected that there would be a, a time of sort of panic to the time of uh, gathering your feet to the time of forward planning. And I think right now we've sort of hit that forward planning time. You know, we've done our best to keep all the staff employed that we had, um, you know, involved with the PBR. Uh, like any industry, whether it's live entertainment, sports or whatever, it's sort of a, a time where you have to adapt. Um, you know, we, we know this virus is with us for a, for a long time. Um, it's just part of the landscape, uh, as, as was terrorism when that sort of started coming in and it started affecting live events and, and security measures that had to be put in place. You know, we, we were very fortunate that, you know, our, our governing body in the US was the first sport back. Uh, we went to uh, Oklahoma City and, and set up a closed uh, venue where we had, uh, you know, Winnebago's on site and built a living complex and a food complex and were able to safely uh since everyone uh we actually launched in in las vegas this week oh wow 32, 32 game series um and we're coming back to crowds on july 12th in sioux falls so we're monitoring that very closely um we've got you know a lot of plans i think the probably the gray area for us all is what is the event COVID social distancing requirements required by us all you know and i think that's what we're all waiting to hear. Um, we've sort of moved ahead of the, the game over there where we've sort of developed scalings that sort of keep everyone socially distanced and it probably delivers us about 32 to 40% of the potential crowd. Right. But I think until uh, we have a vaccine, uh, you know, I think that's just going to be the lay of the land. We're trying to imagine how you implement social distancing while riding bulls. <laughs> That just seems like it's impossible. So I guess you've had to take some um, different approaches in terms of infection control and safety for your riders, for your animals, for your, I guess, everyone who's associated with that event. It is. I mean, what we've done is created pods. Um, and it's the same as what we're, we're working on with venues, you know, on how we scale, we sort of create these seating pods. Um, it's the same, you know, there's only so many groups of riders in a pod. They stay together, they eat together, they, you know, if we can travel them all together, the same as the TV crew. Uh, right. You know, the guys that are in the OB facility don't mix with the rest of the TV crew. If you want a camera out of that OB facility, you call ahead. That gets put outside. You have to make sure that you've got different eskies full of different drinks for different pods. Um, yeah. It just goes on and on. And I just think you you know, have to keep thinking of the next, but at the same time as, you know, I guess the hygiene and, and being able to, to keep it clean and um, testing everyone when they're coming into a competition. Like we're, we're hoping to be back up and running by August, September with a televised series without crowds. If we're allowed some sort of crowd, good and great. Um, but, you know, right now it's about keeping the brand out there and, and uh, studying, you know, what it's going to take to come back. I think the pods are a great idea. Manny, what have you got for Glenn? Well, Glenn, mate, thank you so much for supporting the live music sector like over many years. And I think it's a real common sense approach as to where you guys are, you know, moving. But it is a, it's a mercantile business, like it's an enterprise and there's so many moving parts to it. And um, what I'm looking at is obviously the same as sporting events. You're pivoting, obviously, to be able to get the brand out there. So an important question for me is how do you think your bull riders will actually, you know, respond to no crowds, you know, without that interface and all the, you know, 20, 30, 50,000 people at like, like at these events. I'm looking at how sport is perceived uh, and like and televised at the moment. Are the bull riders very similar to our sporting superstars? Uh, they would be. We, we obviously, you know, as an athlete, a cowboy actually practices with our crowds. Uh, you know, they, a lot of them from regional country areas on property, so they don't, you know, sometimes putting them in front of crowds is, makes them a little bit more nervous than not being in front of crowds. So what we've seen over the over in the US is obviously the atmosphere is a little bit different, but what we've done is, is gone to theming. Uh, the latest 
uh, model that we're using is a Teams challenge where we've created a monster pit. Um, and it's, you know, the lights and the signage and the, you know, the music right. and the atmosphere behind it uh, in a very intimate sort of space that's really built for TV. Um, again, it's about adaption and, um, you know, not all venues deliver that. Uh, you know, I feel like, you know, what I was just watching Granger Smith and, and that uh, before and, and how they perform on the internet uh, to, you know, thousands and thousands of people, but I know they get, you know, their performances are sort of driven off atmosphere and, and you know, the vibe that you get and, uh, you know, you've got a great audience, you're going to perform great. And it's the same as Will Riders and same as any athlete. So, it's something we're going to have to just get used to for now. Uh, you know, won't yeah. be the same. But the live get, energy. Get... Yeah. yeah, Michael. Exactly. It'll be very interesting to see what other concepts emerge because we are a creative species, you know. So, so innovation is an important aspect of you know, every industry. So we're talking to the hospitality side of things and what they're going to do with their venues and when they can finally get what numbers and it's more it's fantastic to actually have an act on stage but if you haven't got that interface of people with you know within a close pro proximity how do you create the same vibe so to speak sorry to use the buzzword vibe but it's interesting to hear how venue operators and our scripting and experience for people that physically come into venues which is you know limited you know by by the size of the capacity so it, like it's a common sense approach and it's great to see Glenn. So yeah, mate, we're looking forward to seeing it all. Yeah. Michael. Hi Glenn. Um, so, I mean, obviously you've got a, a, a very big supporter base of, of um, people that, you know, you usually come and watch um, the PBR. What is the best way for those people to, you know, once you back up and running, what's the best way for them to be able to um, support the PBR if, if crowds aren't allowed at, at the initial sort of stage? Oh, look, I think it's, um, you know, one thing that we've all noticed is, is the, the use of the phone and, and the social media and, you know, how people's mental, um, how their mindsets change. You know, I mean, they're not so much consuming, um, you know, content on TV no more. They, they are using it on, on, you know, on your phones and all that sort of stuff, which, which we knew was coming. It's probably just coming a lot quicker than what we expected. Um, yep. You know, from we have our Ride Pass, our own digital broadcast platform for Western culture sports, um, and, and that enables us to sort of put that out not only to Australian fans but worldwide PBR fans. Um, right. And then obviously, you know, your social media channels. But with Ride Pass, uh, you know, in addition to that, we are working with our, our free to air network, Channel 7 on uh, 7 and 8, airs our programs at the moment. Uh, and that's where we sort of want to work towards is sort of having a free to air content. Um, as well as the digital broadcast content. But, you know, we're lucky too that we have Ladbrokes on board and that takes us to another 2.1 million eyeballs as well. Absolutely. Wow. That's well, great. look, that's great. Look, Glenn, thank you so much for talking to us today. It's been great to hear a different perspective from a different angle that we don't necessarily think about. I like your idea of pods. I think that's incredibly intelligent. And we wish you guys the very best in, you know, recovery and rebuilding. And we can't wait till full capacity is available to you guys so that you're... Uh, I guess your riders can actually have that live energy when they're out there performing their sports. So, Glenn Young, thank you so much for talking to us and we wish you the very best. Thank you thank so you much, much, guys. Thanks, Glenn. Thanks, everyone. Glenn, thanks so much. Cheers.